Here's another application of using differentiation. Now we need uh, this time to understand first of all what the normal to a curve is. There's the curve. Now we all know what a tangent is. Hopefully I can draw one fairly close. There we are, there's a tangent there. Just touches in one point. A normal is a line that is perpendicular to that tangent. Normals are very important concepts uh, in science, so we need to be able to handle them. And we use differentiation once again to uh, solve the problem. So we want the equation of the normal to this curve <coughs> when x equals 2. Now it's similar to the process of finding the equation of a tangent, and eventually we're going to end up using our old friend y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And I'm going to slip a dash in there just to indicate that it's a normal and not a tangent, because um, hopefully you will remember the work we did on perpendicular lines. So if my gradient of the tangent is m, I used m dashed for the gradient of the normal. And remember we had this, uh, this important result that m times m dashed was always equal to negative 1. So I think it's useful to put the dash in there. It reminds us that we're not going to use m, and m is what we normally find from dy by dx. So let's start off then with differentiate this function, dy by dx equals, differentiate 4 is nothing, differentiate negative 5x is negative 5, differentiate 2x squared, 4x. Got our x value, 2. So m is negative 5 plus 4 times 2, which is 8. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3. Remember m is the gradient of the tangent. Check this over here, that m is 3, m dashed we're trying to find. We know that if we multiply them together, we get negative 1. So the quick way then of finding m dashed is to invert m, so we invert 3, which makes it a third, and we change the sign. So let's start to fill in uh, our equation here then y minus y1. Ah, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> we haven't got a y1 in this uh, example. So again, another little difference um, which sometimes catches people out. We know what x is, and of course we m must remember that this is on the curve, so it satisfies the equation. So if I substitute x equals 2 in here, instead of here, I won't get the gradient, I will actually get the y coordinate. So if I put x equal to 2 plus 2 times 2 squared, then I get 4, take away 10, add 8, which is 2. So the point on the graph that I'm talking about, my point here, is 2, 2. So the equation becomes then y take away 2 equals m dashed, which is a third, negative a third, times x take away 2. Now when we looked at the stuff on, on the equation, on this equation. <coughs> we don't, remember, we don't like these numbers here. What's the easiest way to get rid of that? Well, the easiest way is to multiply this side by 3, first of all. So 3y take away 6 equals, remember it's 
just the three that you're taking, so there's still the negative one there. Negative one in front of the bracket will be negative x, negative, negative two is plus two. And assuming I haven't been asked a particular form to write the answer in, I'm going to put the x on this side, so I think we'll have x plus 3y. And I quite like the idea of putting the negative 6 on this side to make it plus 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. So I've now found then the equation of the normal to this curve when x equals 2. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.